The reason why I can't be defeated, even though the enemy try. The reason why I can't stay where they put me, where they locked me up, where they lied on me, where they destroyed my reputation, where they tarnished my image, where they libeled me, where they made me of no reputation. It's because I owe God a worship. And because he needs my worship. He needs my praise. He says, oh, that man may praise the Lord for his goodness and his wonderful works. For he has broken the cage of brass. He has cut the bars of iron in sunder. The reason why he broke your chain is so that you will worship. The reason why he broke your shackles is so that you will worship. The reason why he healed you is so that you will worship. The reason why you were delivered is so that you will worship. Somebody shout praise the Lord. Some people, when they want to worship God, where we come from, they go to the shrine and they go into the bushes. They cut down some wood branches. And in order to worship their God, they whip themselves. They beat themselves with stripes until they bleed. When some people want to worship their God, they cut themselves and bleed themselves out. When some people want to worship their God, they want to worship Shongo, they go and walk on hot coals of fire just to worship their God. When some people want to worship their God, they have to drown themselves in Oshun River. When some people want to worship their God, they've got to put incisions on themselves. When some people want to worship their God, they've got to scrape their hair and become bald. When some people want to worship their God, they've got to go to the cemetery and sleep there for multiple days. But your God does not demand any of that. All he says is that you make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Am I speaking to somebody? Shout yeah! in Scientology church in order to worship you've got to pay them a million dollars you didn't hear me in the white garment church in order for you to worship they might have to flog you down but not your God he says all you need is your voice Minister Hibbert said, he didn't say you need to sing. That's right. He didn't say you need to play the keyboard. That's right. Because some of us cannot do it for the life of us. That's right. He said, just make. Just make a what? Just make a what? You know why? You know why? Just give me one minute. We'll, we'll, we'll be out of here. Listen. 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 The reason why he said make a joyful noise is this in case some of you don't understand. You are wondering why does a senseless noise make sense? Hallelujah. Why that as that does an uh, uh, an unintelligible noise makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you why it makes sense. Why is it that to bring down the walls of Jericho, all they needed to do was make some noise? Uh, 
the Bible says that he told them, he told them in order to prevail over this fortress of a nation, uh, you've got to get your priests together, get your worshippers together, get your praisers together, get your noisemakers together, get your nuisance in church together, get get together those who are not looking to be cute, those who are not looking to be fine, those who don't care about their lipstick, those who don't care about their high heels, those who don't care about their suit, get them 